Alrighty, we've had some videos where we've taken this apart. I had another video in the series where I fixed the cassette, another one where I worked on the buttons. Now it's time to put everything back together again and do a comprehensive run through of all the features and conclude our time with this uh, Blaupunk Monterey SQR23. So right, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start reassembling it. Right, the fiddliest part of the tape deck is getting the three cables in. Uh, once that's in, it's not too bad. We just need to line this all up in its uh, places. So there's a screw that comes here, the little tab on this side, and then we can screw this all back together again. Right, everything is back together for the first time in a very long time. Let me wire it all up and uh, we'll give it a quick test run. And here is the fully assembled Monterey SQR23. Hooked up my bench power and let's quickly run through some of the features and functionalities. The first thing to turn the unit on, turn the volume. And you can see there immediately it will start firing up. You can click on the left to tune in some channels. So that one is quite loud. Tune some frequency and then see it defaults to FM. And what we can do is we can just click the M button and we get medium wave. You can see on the display. And the L, long wave, the display. And I'm going to head back to FM. Now with three, a couple of tuning modes there with these two rocker switches. You can see over here we've got the sensitivity, low, high or medium, oh, sorry manual, right now I've got this on low sensitivity so we can click and it will just, so I have regular sensitivity, it's going to just go and find a channel and you can save those channels by pressing and holding any button you want, so let's hold it number one. Oh, I pressed that a little bit too lightly. There we go. And number one now lights up as well. It's got that channel uh, tuned in. You can go find some other channel. There we go. Let's do that as number two. And you can see over here, two is now lit up. So now we have one and two. Right, and the only other feature on the FM side of things is this light over here, which is to turn stereo on and off. You go and hit this button. You can see in stereo, like infinity style symbol disappears. And this is now in force mono mode. The lights up over there as well. Hit this again, back into stereo mode, and we're good to go. We'll load it. We have tone control and balance, so you can click these buttons in, they pop out, and turn our audio to the left. Or you can there you go, turn it all the way back to the right. There we go. I actually want to wire these two speakers backwards, so it's actually working the other way around. <laughs> Great. And pop that back in again. Similarly, we have treble and bass control. You can pop those out turn the treble to any position you want. There's a whole lot of treble. All, all the way down, anywhere in between. And similarly for bass. Adjust it to anywhere we want. Boost that bass a bit. Right, so those are some of the radio functions. Uh, let's turn our attention to this tape deck, which has since been repaired. We're going to slightly insert a tape. And it immediately starts playing, as you can hear. 
Now a couple of features, we've got fast forward and rewind. So if we basically just hit that button, it's just gonna rewind the tape for as long as I want. Then I can either press these buttons here or press back, I think, over here. There we go, and there the tape plays. We can flip the sides of the tape with this tape flip the side button. There we go, that's the other side of the tape. Hit the button again, back to the first side. And you notice how we have indicators for the two sides as well. You can say what type of tape we have. Is it Dolby encoded? Yes, this is. I can hit the Dolby button. Is this a chrome tape? Well, this one isn't. But I could control that here. Now you can see that because the rear of the tape faces me, there's no way mechanically for this radio to determine what type of tape it is. Right, then one more feature that here is this CPS button. Now on this unit, the C is worn off, it just says P and S. But if we enable that, what that feature is about is that if I now fast forward the tape, it's going to try and find the next possible blank and start playing the tape there. So let's see if that works. I'm going to rewind the tape with the CPS enabled. If there's a three second gap, hopefully it will find it and it'll start playing. Nope, oh, there we go. And there it starts playing the tape at the beginning of that song. If we go even further, now it'll go to the beginning of the prior song. I'll keep forgetting in this day and age of CDs how and iPods how quick this is. With tapes, it takes a bit longer. The tape is now slowly but surely rewinding. And once it gets to the beginning, it's going to pop out and start playing this song, the next song. So I'll give that a little moment to, to find that next spot. There we go. And there it starts playing uh, the tape over there. Right, so those are some of the features and functions of the Blaupunk Monterey. Lastly, to eject the tape, you hit this button on the right, and the tape is ejected, and we're immediately back in cassette mode. So this unit is working great, and thank you very much for watching this series.